nice days without any rain I thought I'd get the windows done and uh, they're not too bad they need a few bits of repair but it's mainly the putty the older uh, putty's coming out it's just all dried up and old so I'm just going to take these out clean it all up and then re-putty it the glazing's all fine there's no broken glass so it doesn't need to be reglazed um, so yeah get on with this job today Another one to tick off the list. probably want a pea size amount so like that yeah yeah and always put the cap back and then you're supposed to mix it so you can't see any of the white what does the white do it hardens it so what it does is it won't harden without it right no well, I think it probably will but it'll take you know ages and it'll probably never be like like it is when you use the hardener and it, it activates when you mix it like this it activates the hardener and activates the chemicals in the thing to harden it up this is ron seal does exactly what it says on the tin that was their slogan wasn't it is it yeah i think so i think it's ron seal yeah does exactly what it says on the tin <laughs> right so you really got to be quick yeah you just got to be you know sensible about it You see, this is quite deep, so I would leave it for a... I'd do the other window and leave this one to harden because it's quite deep. You see, it says in sometimes deeper bits, you should leave... You should sort of build them up levels, yeah? yeah. But as you see, you've got a line there. Yeah. So I'm thinking what I might do is that. And then you can build up the top layer. Yeah, as I say, I because it's fairly deep. Yeah. I'd leave that to go off, and do the other window, and then leave that. And, and be then fine. can you sand it down, or you'd carve it? You can it down sand or... it. I would. Well, you don't want to be sanding. That'll take forever to sand it. You'll scratch the glass and everything. So I just, if it were me, I would probably see what I've got, and then just use chisel to just slice little chunks off and carve it off until you get that profile.
So windows are all done. Got their new putty in them, all been sanded down, new bit of woodworking, and uh, yeah, I can go and put them back in and then paint them tomorrow. Oh. Today, I've got a rather interesting job. Now, you remember this cabinet we bought, which is devoid of doors and top and everything like that. And we took out a beam behind me to get it up through the floor. And so that's the lovely thing, is that we finally got it up here. I took the top off it, I cut the top off it, because it was another 100 mil high there and that would have probably not allowed us to do what we did behind us and um, so that's good. However, I've now got to modify the cabinet and put the various bits back, the top and the back's got to go back on, all the doors have got to go back on and the little decorative strip round the side here. 
down here and around the corner there. We've got to do all that today. And then it will be ready for use. Well happy. It looks good. Yeah, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? It really does. Um, backs on, side, tops on, all screwed together, redone, everything, all bad wood taken out of it. I've just stuck a little bit of trim on there. Is that the trim that came off of it? Yeah. That actually is, um, as you see, there's a little line there, but it was because it had two sets of strings because we took we had a sort of line here with a piece and then because I've chopped that a bit then it had a line around the top I I still believe that it had something on top of it because of it having this plywood top um, but uh, I've utilized this trim and yes it won't cover everything but it certainly covers the majority of stuff Good. As you see there. Yeah. So that's the idea. And uh, I'm just going to tap this on there. He says, he's obviously the, the worst, worst in the world at trying to screw anything, uh, any, trying to nail anything on. Want me to hold it? If you hold that bit there, <laughs> you hold that there, and I'll let it. Just a little finger. There you go. Now. Oh, Faye. That's it. See? Teamwork, baby. Teamwork. That's the next thing. Just put all the doors in, 
and uh, we're, we're, we're done. We're done, which oh, I'm so pleased about. It just Shall looks, we go get the doors in? It looks fantastic already. Why, do you want to have a go? Yeah, I really want to see it with the doors in it. I'm so excited about okay, it. Okay, let's go get the doors. Okay. Table or something, but I do believe they're. I don't know if they're numbered, but yeah. I do that. That says six. So right six would that be down the bottom? I imagine it would be. Well, yeah. There are labels. One, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So that one's there. Four. Right. You have to take the pegs out because the pegs oh, are yeah. the things that stop Look it coming these. out. This is so cool. Look. The pegs are the things these that pegs, stop. Pegs. Little wooden pegs stop them coming out. I can't get it out. <laughs> G1, yeah. So the pegs are number G1 and D1. Cool. And G1 is? Gauche, left, right, right. So this is what happens, is they slide in there like that, at the top here, and then you supposedly do this. But of course, this first one is gonna work. And then you put your pegs in, See what? Yeah, you see that goes in there. And fingers crossed. Cool. It's gonna look so cool. Let's get the rest of them in. Cabinet, and I'm so glad we got it up there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a really good start to the week this week, Fantastic, isn't it? really, really good. Your window looks absolutely beautiful, I have to say. It's, it, you know, it, <laughs> I think it's because you cleaned the glass. <laughs> yeah, just cleaning the glass out. <laughs> <laughs> we can see out of it now. But no, it's a really nice refurb job. Just makes, just goes to show that you don't need to go and buy windows, you need to think about. Your windows and refurb them if you can. Yeah, if you think how much that would cost to have a best bespoke window made well, just for that. We know, we know how much yeah. they cost. They cost a lot of money. But the, I suppose the crowning glory for I think both of us is this old. I think it's just, I love this piece timber. of furniture. It is just amazing. And the fact Wonderful. that they all lock, all of these lock. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a it's so, beautiful piece. It's so heavy. It's been nice, it's been a nice, I, you know, I'm pleased that I did a little bit of jiggery with it. You know, it, it probably wouldn't have gone up through the hole with the top on it because it's not that, that wide. So there is, I'm quite pleased that the top came off it. Um, and it went back, firmly went back after a little bit of fettling. Um, it's good. But it's, yeah, it looks, it looks really, really good. So it good. means that this room is, is almost there. This room has got some of the electrics that need to be sorted, curtains, I need to do some curtains, which I need to have a look up in the attic for all the fabric I've got, see what I've got, because I don't want to go buy a new fabric for this room. No. I want us to refurb the old um, post, uh, post 
cupboard there. Yes, dear. Um, and yeah, and then we're kind of done. And this will be one room ticked off the list, which will be great. However, hang on a minute, yeah, hang on a minute. You're getting all excited, <laughs> but we are missing a major. Yes. Um, yeah. So Thursday, we want you to come shopping with us. We're going to go and do all of the brocants in one day. Steve's lending us the van so we can go and pick up because we have loads of furniture we need to buy. We need a big wardrobe in here that's going to cover the electric box and be able to house different um, cleaning utensils. So Hoover, um, brooms, stuff brooms, like that. Yeah, all that sort we need a, a wardrobe and a chest of drawers for in the apartment four. We also need a cabinet for downstairs in the laundry room and a big wardrobe for in there as well. So we've got quite a lot of furniture to go and buy. So yeah, it's brocant shopping time. Anybody else fancy going? Um, I'm sure I've got busy, I'm busy. You know. <laughs> You're coming <Sorry>. with me. <laughs> Tablecloth moment for yeah, you. But... The, trouble, the trouble is, is Steve's lending us the van, but I was really hoping that Steve was going to drive the van. <laughs> Steve, please, please, mate, please. No, it's fine, it's great. There's always there's always something to look at, so come and have a look with us. It'll be fantastic. It'll be a good, a nice day out. Not necessarily a day out, but a nice look around what you can get in the places that we go shopping. Yeah. So we'll see you all on Thursday. In the meantime, we'd like to say a huge thank you. I'm just going to get my list because we've got quite a few donations this week. It's really so, nice. Do you want to do the donations? So the Karen Karen Berry and the Porter family. Porter family, look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, you're Thank coming you to Thank you so stay. much. It's really, really kind of you to do that. And Karen, who's done a few donations now. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Karen. Karen. Yeah. And um, a big welcome. We've got four new patrons from last month. Woo yeah, Wolfgang, Russell, Ellen and Carol. Welcome to the Montbanya family. I hope you enjoy all of the behind the scenes and the footage with us. And I hope you can join us. We've got Zoom chats coming up very soon as well. And don't forget, anybody else, if you'd like to... Join us as a patron. The link is in the description. And if you'd like to leave a tip, then you can go to it's it. Buy us a coffee page. Received. Ellen, thank you so much for writing aloud. People don't do it enough. Yeah. Thank you so and much. And thank you for my recipes. And what I was amazed about was the, the price. It was all the way from Canada. This is actually the letter she this wrote. This is actually the letter. She's written all over. And I've done some calculations on the back of it as well. <laughs> Sorry. We, we try to utilise everything. <laughs> But one dollar fifty-five. One dollar fifty-five, and it's apparently in England. It's one thirty-five, one pound thirty-five now to send a first-class letter within the UK. Within yeah. the UK. It's so thank you so much. Anyway, we will see you all again Thursday for a shopping trip. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Like and subscribe. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. <laughs> oh, what a team! What a team! <laughs> I still don't get my special handshake though, do I? No, yeah. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye. Take care. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I did press the call button, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs>